In this video, we will be going over the following problem. What is the height of the stack of three congruent circles of radius 4 centimeters? To begin, let's connect the centers of each of these circles to form a triangle. Notice that each of the sides of this triangle are composed of two individual radii. For example, if you consider this side right here, it's composed of this radius as well as this radius as is the case with the other two sides. This means that the triangle is equilateral, since all of the sides are of length 2r. Notice that the height of this triangle is one of the components in the height of the entire figure. The other two components are this segment and this segment both of which are the radius of the circles, which the problem tells us is of length 4. So now essentially what this problem boils down to is determining the length of this third component, which is the height of this equilateral triangle. So I've redrawn the equilateral triangle for clarity. We've already established that the length of each of these sides is 2r. r is 4, which means that the sides are of length 8. Now to find the height of this equilateral triangle, we first have to split it into two equal halves. The length of the bases of the two individual triangles we formed is half the original side length, so 4, and the angle here is 90 degrees, because the line splitting the triangle in two is perpendicular to the base. And this means that we can apply the Pythagorean theorem to find the remaining side length of the equilateral triangle. If we do so, we get 4 squared plus h squared, where h represents the height of the equilateral triangle, is equal to 8 squared. 4 squared is 16, and 8 squared is 64. So 16 plus h squared is equal to 64. And if we subtract 16 from both sides, we get that 8 squared is equal to 64 minus 16, which is 48. The square root of 48 is 4 root 3, so the height of the equilateral triangle is 4 root 3. The entire height then is just the sum of the lengths of the individual components, so 4 plus 4 root 3 plus 4, or 8 plus 4 root 3. And that's all there is to this problem.